disciple in the host of Spiritual Drive Show. She a many mama play here to empower the power of life herbal center and on my was spiritual drive show so. Aha, me a share mum 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 ni ema biti se. Obe da suda na wuni obi da. Obe suda na wudi di. Anase obi awo panye one e wo da e. Anase ya re biti se stroke, diabetes, hepatitis B. And I said, Oh, pet, I won't. I bet it's casting in a show you so. You was a your bomb pile of mamma, the bomb pile of mamma. You was a dear blue council, a blue oil also, and a beck out of Amawanya, a Wamoto, a naughty. She are many disciples. If you have been here, a brave one on the tree, a good moon. I will collect TV. Now we in China. Another lovely Tuesday. Welcome to the special edition of Click Telegram English version. The year is running like uh, we, are, we are in a marathon. The days are running. Uh, we are almost done, and then very soon we will enter 2022. Uh, before we enter 2022, there are so many things that uh, you will learn. That will help you to enter 2022. Uh, I pray that may, uh, the Creator will guide each and every one of you uh, as you are learning in this class. Uh, whatever that you desire or whatever that you are looking for, uh, it shall uh, come to pass as a result of what you are learning from the classroom. Uh, this is the Click Telegram class. Most of you always complain that you always teach in a Ghanaian language. We don't understand the Ghanaian language. So if you can teach in English for us to benefit as well. Yes, I always uh, listen to you, the viewers, you, the students, as to uh, whatever you say. If it falls within uh, my means to assist, I always uh, try to do it so that you can benefit from it as well. Um, there are so many uh, topics that I've treated in the uh, Ghanaian language, which people always ask me. So, uh, what, you are what you've treated, uh, or the presentation you did, where can we get some of these items? To buy? And I always say that the best oils come from the Middle East. Okay, so if um, you are into spiritual practice and you need uh, best oil for your spiritual needs uh, you can contact if you have any contact in the middle east you can contact them and they will give you the best uh, of the best in the middle east okay oil as when it comes to spiritual oils and these oils will go a long way to help you now i've ordered for such oils i have them here in ghana and then we have them in london as well if you call uh, Helen Hans hat in UK or even if you are in Europe uh, you don't need to call all the way in Ghana to get it call Helen Hans hat in UK uh, their number is on the screen if you call them and you tell them just give them uh, whatever you need it for because each one based on what you are going to use it for and the kind of oil that will be given to you okay for instance if uh, you need protection you if you want to drive away bad energies in your home uh, what i will prescribe for you is a uh, lavender uh, oil okay this lavender oil you can burn it as a burning uh, fusion okay a burning fusion or you can apply it in so many forms to drive away these bad energies from your home okay so based on what you tell them or when you call based on what you tell is what you will get okay and it will get rid of whatever spiritual issues that you are going through aside that um, any product of power life herbal center which you know uh, is doing so many uh, is changing lives of so many people in the world uh, talk of uh, the power life bitters uh, which is very powerful and uh, it does a whole lot of things uh, if you have uh, pains all over if you are having diarrhea and other things if you take it it will go along with to help you if you go to 
uh, the site of healing hands, you, you get uh, whatever each and every uh, product that I have here does. They have um, the spiritual soup, they have the uh, spiritual pomade, and all these, whilst they are helping you spiritually, uh, they help with uh, physical rushes as well. So uh, you can get it. And then we have the Afro Grow and then the Hair Grow. The Afro Grow is for those who are uh, having the natural hair. And then the Hair Grow is for those who have uh, the, 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 the hair. They have added uh, chemicals to make it grow in essence. That is also good for them as well. So if you call them any of these, products you can get it as well so this is how uh, the oil comes or oh, the oil looks like you see it comes in a box okay it comes in a box like this so it's, it's in so this has been amplified okay it's not just one uh, particular plant is uh, it could be maybe rose oil and then maybe um, uh, mugwat oil okay extracted to give you so whatever rules will give you and move what combines and then it, it amplifies it and it, it does it for you rapidly so this is how it looks like you can get yours and for those who are always uh, i remember today uh, the secretary called me and told me someone is waiting for me and i told her that can you tell her to come on saturday saturday i'm free i can make time and then meet her on Saturday and she said no 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 I need to see you please those who want to meet me okay uh, I'm working around the clock so that I can meet you on Saturday so if you want to meet me call the office line and then let's meet on Saturday let's meet on Saturday based on whatever you tell me and then how I'll be able to assist you as a student okay I'll be able to assist you as a student so uh, that is it for now um, last week uh, I remember we treated alligator pepper, the physical aspect and then the spiritual. And then I told you, for those of you, if you know you've done abortion or you, by any means you happen to uh, have any hands in the death of someone uh, as a result of maybe you fighting over a position and other things, uh, whether you did it spiritually or physically, uh, today's uh, lectures is for you. So you need to stay tuned and then uh, uh, join and follow whatever we'll be doing today. Today we wouldn't spend much time because tomorrow I have um, a telegram class in the afternoon. So I need to uh, do it uh, in a short uh, lectures for you, okay, in a point form so that you can uh, expand it on your own whilst uh, you go over the video. What you don't understand if you put it across in the classroom. I will be glad to help you understand it more. Uh, I, did, I did mention last week about uh, we having so many goals, okay? And then uh, how you introduce yourself to this uh, alligator pepper before you bury the alligator pepper pot before you bury it, and then so on. I did mention all that, uh, and then how you by cl uh, when we say cleansing, we have so many types of cleansing. We have the bow, uh, the uh, sea salt uh, 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 cleansing. We have um, the moon cleansing. We have the sun cleansing. We have so many types of cleansing. And then there's another one that is very powerful. That when you do, it helps you a lot. That is the uh, uh, alligator pepper cleansing, whereby uh, depending on uh, the deepness of whatever you've done and the number of uh, alligator pepper that you use i didn't mention it last week so if you don't understand that part or if today is your first time you can go back to last week uh, lectures and then listen to how you you will do all these uh, formulas or you use these formulas to cleanse yourself from any negativity or things that uh, has attached itself due to your body being a biomagnetism uh, field or energy that is in you that attracts this negativity uh, from all angles some we get it through uh, sexual intercourse and some to we get it through evil eyes and evil mouth or evil hands uh, as 
we move in our daily endeavors so if you use these alligator pepper for such cleansing it will uh, you it will clean you from such uh, negativity and you'll be free and the next one that we are going to look at is when maybe by any means you, you are involved in the blood or the death of someone and remember out of dust we came from and out of dust we will return okay so the body will go back to the dust and then the soul which is the spirit will cross over will, or will enter the portal that will open to the spiritual side now when the soul crosses over because uh, the timing of the soul uh, the, the, the timing of the death was not accurate or is not on point it it cannot have access to you know move ahead to the uh, spiritual side whereby uh, reincarnation can happen so what happens is they can be trapped between uh, the physical and then the spiritual between that line they can be trapped bet between that line and they can't cross and what happens is they they will keep on crying okay it's like you having a case and you take your case to court you, at times you can take, certain cases can take over uh, a century and they will still be going to court or the generation will come and then they will still be going until finally one day a judgment will be passed and then uh, you stop going to court so as you've uh, you are involved in the uh, or the death of such a person or maybe you were young by then you had a baby and then you, you thought you, you you were pregnant and as the baby was forming uh, you thought if you have this baby it's going to be a burden on you because you are in school so the only option was to you know get rid of it abortion uh, and now is really really fighting against you you can't even bear children so you think uh, what is happening to me uh, am i going to be barren for life when you go to the hospital they tell you your womb is intact but you cannot bear children it's the blood of that innocent baby that is crying for you and this does, does not go for you alone if you did abortion without telling the man then the man is free but if the man is part of it he he also needs to do what i'm about to teach you today it will go a long way to help you i remember there's this man of god okay uh, who knows or who knows these spiritual things uh, i was young by then uh, I, I think i was 12 years 12 13 years by then and he did it for his church members and now if you talk about some of one of the best uh, worthiest church in the world you will not omit them okay uh, he did so many years ago and as a result they were they, they, they had the benefit of getting away uh, away from any negative energies that will be a blockage to them and now they are prospering and anybody who goes in there prosper as well okay and uh, I, I remember the same uh, steps was done and then i i witnessed and i was like oh wow this is wonderful this is what you do wake up or uh, when the sun is fully awake is fully awake between exactly three o'clock come out from your uh within come out from your room and let the sun throw away your shadow on the ground okay let the sun throw away your shadow on the ground whilst your shadow is on the ground where your shadow lies okay just bend and then take a little bit sun from that side the time is 3 p.m it doesn't matter the day it's not you have to do it on the day you were born no no no, no. just wake up um, sorry just come out at 3 p.m but you have to make sure where you are going to do this is very clean is very very clean why because you are using it for uh, bath so it has to be a clean place so if way what you have is not a clean environment I would advise that you go closer to a very clean environment so that 
exactly three o'clock. You can you, this you do it within that three p.m. between the three p.m. and then the four. When it's four, you can't do it. It has to be within that three p.m. So when you burn and then take a little bit of the uh, sun, put it in a jug. Okay, when I say a jug, like a breakable uh, glass that has a cover and cover it. Now this is what you do. Either you get these things, palm oil. If you can get palm oil, you can use palm oil. If you get, if you can, you can afford olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. Yes, go ahead and do it. And I remember talking about palm oil. <laughs> uh, this man did it for the members, and as I then he had financially, he was not uh, financially sound to afford. Uh, virgin uh, or olive oil for such purpose so what happened was he he resulted in uh, palm oil over there was in abundance so the only thing he could do or he could afford was to buy uh, the palm oil and the timing that you do this when you get there i'll give you that story and then you understand how people got the perception and uh, how people portrayed him to be okay some of these good uh, formulas based on how you do it at times when people don't understand it they may portray you to be a very bad person but you may be teaching them or doing the right thing for them but due to the doctrine that they've been listening to can go a long way to affect them so uh, listen to these lectures very well mm -hmm. and it will go a long way to help you so whilst you are burning, then you have your sun, you collected it at 3 p.m. in the jug, and you have it, what you do is just place it at a very clean place, you know, dry, clean place, in your room or in your hall, wherever you can place it. Just leave it there. Make sure where you are leaving it has no foul smell. So if your room has a foul smell, uh, please, uh, you can get any incense that is uh, very good okay rose incense or any other or you can get any of these oils that we have here and then burn it or use it in a room to change the atmosphere okay change the atmosphere give it a very uh, sweet fragrance aroma just use it so that when you place the sun in a jug in the room it will be uh, the energy that you uh, you took from that uh, shadow will still be intact. Other than that, uh, if it has a fast smell, the energy will leave the jug, and then when you have the sun and use it for uh, the formula, it will be useless. So make sure the place is neat. Now leave it, and then you do go about with your daily, act uh, your normal. Uh, day activities but please be careful during that this time of you going to have uh, this formula into action please stay away from sexual intercourse okay and don't think don't have negative uh, mindset whilst you are going to do this just go straight and then uh, uh, be free get get with if you are having issues with others and stuff it's best you whilst you want to have your spiritual breakthrough you have to get rid of it from your mind so that you can have access to all these uh, goodies that uh, lies in nature now wake up at 12 midnight exactly 12 midnight and remember it's going to be between 12 midnight to 3 a.m so 00 a.m to 3 a.m okay these are the hours that you are going to do and Normally, if you can do it when the sun is full, like in full, the f during the full, uh, sorry, the, the moon is in full, or the moon is full, it will go a long way to help you. So, during full moon, you can wake up at 12 midnight when uh, everywhere is brightening and uh, those crystal stones are sparkling and other things. Wake up and then uh, please. What you do is remember you already have your ingredients for uh, these purpose. Okay, so what you do is just 
get your uh, sand okay get your sand and then you get your if you have the if you have you can't afford the uh, oil the olive oil or the extra virgin olive oil you can use palm oil as well and it also works as very very well you can use palm oil uh, what you do is get a new bucket you get a new bucket and then you fetch uh, one gallon of water okay if it's so cold for you you can make it warm and then uh, you pour it in the bucket and then you put in your sun the one that you took from uh, during the day from your shadow you took it from your shadow you, you, you put it in the uh, water as well either your palm oil or your extra virgin or your olive oil pour it in as well and stir it till it mixes with the sun and then the water okay it mixes with it now you can go into your bathroom if you have a jacuzzi now due to modernization we don't have that open uh, bath room that we used to have uh, about maybe three decades ago three decades ago in africa open bathrooms were very common but due to modernization uh, most of such uh, bath places before you can see them unless you go to the villages very remote villages before you can see such so you don't necessarily have to be outside you don't have to do it outside that one is, could be very dangerous for you as well due to maybe people you maybe the house is not what and you are doing such what people might think of you and then maybe you can be attacked as well so go to your bathroom if it's a jacuzzi if it's normal just go there and then wash yourself with the soil that you took with the water and then the palm oil okay that you took and remember uh, the burying of the alligator pepper is done at 3 p.m okay the burying of the alligator pepper is done at 3 p.m so if you want to achieve that goal of your alligator pepper being uh, very very active when the 21 days uh, seeds or is due what you can do is during the burying of the alligator pepper you can take the sun from uh, the one that you are using to cover the alligator pepper during that time you can take it from there okay as the alligator pepper is down there you can take it from there down there but if uh, you can bury it just do as I've I'm giving you get your sand f at, f at 3 p.m. your new bucket uh, your palm oil or your other oil your sand water and then at 12 midnight wake up uh, it normally when the moon is full uh, full moon uh, helps but if you don't have full moon you can still wake up at any time at 3 uh, 12 midnight and then do this and it will go a long way to help you so as you've done this you are going to be a, a little bit sunny because of the small the quantity of sand in the water so what you can do is please in order not to feel sandy okay uh, you can what you will do is just get the fresh water okay somewhere or your normal shower that you use after you have gone through that formula you can use fresh water to clean yourself or sponge and soap to wash so that you don't feel salty now when when you do this okay remember the body itself it's soil okay the body was created from soil so as you are doing this whatever uh, blood that is crying for you within the soil you give them that freedom or you you have uh, you are keeping them in a cage without knowing so as they are in the cage and you are also doing your own thing so for instance if i have a, a dog in a cage in the studio here and i'm here giving you a presentation 
the dog will be distracting me there's no way i can give you this presentation smoothly okay so what uh, i can do is to just release the dog to go out there to play whilst i give you the presentation so whilst you've done this this is what happens automatically that blood that is stuck between the physical and then the spiritual realm okay automatically moves to the spiritual side where it joins the queue of reincarnation okay it joins the queue of reincarnation and once this happens to you a lot of uh, things comes in your way a lot of things comes in your way any negative uh, energies that you might have be experiencing and other things uh, now will depart from you it will depart from you and this is how you are going to know if it has departed from you uh, remember when uh, we did the cleansing with the one seed or the three seeds of the alligator pepper uh, after you have done that it takes away those negative energies how does it take away these en negative energies when you deposit those seedlings or those seeds of the alligator pepper as soon as it touches the ground it becomes very active for instance uh, uh, a stick of matches and then the the source that when you uh, light it it sparks the matches for you when you have these two coming together okay as soon as the stick gets closer to that uh, rough surface it lights and then the fire starts uh, uh, flaming so what you can do is just deposit it on a soil okay on the soil not on a cemented place no it will not work on the soil once it gets in con the seed gets in contact with the soil it activates and then gives you that cleansing that you need so whilst it's over there you have to make sure that uh, it's a place where women don't normally go there okay women don't normally uh, they don't use that route often so if you live in an environment like uh, an urban area where it's going to be very difficult for you to dispose these seeds which you use from your toe to your hair okay as a way of cleaning yourself from uh, any negative energy which you might have contracted uh, or attracted during sexual intercourse or during childbirth and other things you can maybe go ahead to a little bit of town and then deposit it in the bush and it will work for you as well or if you have a place within the house where uh, women don't normally go there you can deposit it there and once it gets in contact with the soil it becomes very active do the same thing with the soil as well remember uh, the plan the bearing of the alligator pepper is done at 3 p.m. okay between 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. that is when it is done and it is, it is the same period that you pick this sun from your shadow okay it is the same period that you pick this sun from your shadow so it tells you the energy force between that 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. is very very intense so when you pick it and then you add it to that 12 midnight to, to uh, 3 a.m. it amplifies and then once the soil touches your body and you have the palm oil okay or the oil in addition with the water coming together okay it's it breaks or it creates avenue for this uh, blood that are crying for you from mother earth it breaks them from the cage from that bondage that you have put them in so they are able to live where they are and cross over to the land of the dead or the other side let me drink a glass of water when i come back uh, i will explain more of the benefits of making peace with the mother earth how it can help you i'll be right back Disciple near the host of Spiritual Drive Show. She a minimum of a year, power that power of life, herbal center, and I was spiritual drive show. So, 
Aha, they are sharing home 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 near my bed. Say, Obey that so that I will need Obeda. Obey so that I will need an answer. Obey our pannier one in our diet. An answer. They are real bit is a stroke, diabetes, hepatitis B. An answer. Oh, pet a warm. I have been discussing in a show. So, they are also a bomb pie man. Mama, they are bomb pie man. They are also a drug count also. A drug away also. They are the count. I'm a winner. And one more talk. And one thing. She am in a disciple. If you are not a member, a brave one or a good one, I will collect TV. Now we are here. Uh, we're living. I was telling you about some of the benefits when you do this, making peace with Mother Earth. It goes a long way to help you. You cannot do this without alligator pepper, please. You cannot do this without alligator pepper. Whilst you are doing this, okay, it's it paves way for whatever blood that is crying for you to, I mean, to make peace with that blood. So if you're a lady and you've uh, one or the other, you've gotten rid of a, uh, I know, a, a forming baby, or if you're a man and you give out money for such purpose, or whatever means, if uh, by cursing someone is dead because of you and other things, that blood will be crying for you. If you're a driver and by your reckless driving, you've gotten people, you know, dead as a result of accidents and other uh, things, you know that people will they will not be able to cross because it's not their time. They, they, are, they will be stuck between that uh, physical and then the spiritual uh, uh, boundary. They cannot move to the spiritual realm to join the queue for reincarnation. And it's going to, they are going to be stuck there for quite some time. And I don't think uh, if it's you, you'll be happy because uh, when your time is due, because their blood is still crying for you uh, when you get there they, uh, they will help you it's like meeting someone who who, who owes you uh, <clears throat> you see how at times you approach the maison the monetary aspect as well so you can imagine you getting someone stuck at a place for over uh, three decades or five decades uh, it will go a long way to affect you okay to go a long way to affect you so you yourself also moving to the other side the land of the spirit to join the queue to reincarnation will be very difficult for you as well so if you are home and you know you fall victim to this please uh, just get uh, get out uh, get your alligator pepper pot and then get a dry place uh, bury it at 3 p.m. and whilst you are burying it just uh, get down and then take some sun from that place okay when you take sun from there it will go a long way to help you uh, this is what you this sun is what you use for the uh, 
they making uh, this is the sand we use with making peace with mother earth okay without the sand you cannot make peace with mother earth the sun for is the major uh, ingredients in this making peace with mother earth okay so you will need it once it gets in touch with your body it gets it gives you that level of peacefulness okay within you you feel that self uh, serene among uh, around yourself and then the wherever wherever um, how do you call it blood that is crying for you will depart from you or will not be crying for me for you anymore and you'll be free from it so uh, if those of you who have done it in the class will testify with me that after doing it you feel so relieved um, some of the things that uh, were you were uh, having difficulties in doing uh, have become very easy for you to do now why because you have made peace with mother earth and it's it is opening doors for you okay it is opening doors for you and all this can be done when you have the alligator pepper it can go a long way to help you remember we once you have this your alligator pepper that you buried uh, the storage is very very important the storage how you store it uh, remember you buried it because you want to use it for spiritual purpose okay you want to use it for spiritual purpose so how you store it is very very important get uh, uh, a jack don't use ceramic to store your alligator pepper else the ceramic was made out of soil so the soil will extract the energy that lies within the alligator pepper okay so once you have your alligator pepper uh, after 21 days remember i showed you last week how you will split it open split it open in the breakable uh, plate uh, and then uh, you pour it in the jug and then you cover it then put it at a very nice place whereby if you need a uh, certain number of it for uh, certain formulas it will be much easier for you to do it now uh, what i the lectures i gave you last week that of the alligator papers getting rid of energies around you now if you can do what i've given you if you can make peace with mother earth before uh, you start from the toe to your hair and then go at clockwise for four times it will go a long way to help you okay it will go a long way to help you why because we'll be using the activated alligator pepper for that purpose okay but if you can't if you feel you don't fall victim to, or or you don't you are not at fault to make peace with mother earth please you don't need to do it just go ahead and bury it you don't need to do this making peace with mother earth this goes with anybody who by any means has uh, his or clothes stained with blood and that blood keeps on calling for the for them or for justice from mother earth okay keeps on calling for them from mother earth so you need to be careful so the storage of it if you store it in a good place you'll be able to take quite a number of it maybe one or two for the cleansing of the alligator paper that one that you start from your toe to your hair you'll be able to use it okay you'll be able to use it for such purpose and to go a long way to help you so the storage is very important you can store it in a jack you can store it in the jack and it to help you and then go now please remember that using alligator pepper okay either you use one three uh, seven you always use odd numbers don't use even numbers when you are especially most of spiritual uh, practice you use odd numbers not even numbers to do them and it goes a long way to help you so please when you are when you are using alligator pepper always try to use odd numbers for them and it will help you achieve your spiritual purpose faster uh, for, so for instance uh, if you are you are going for maybe a get together or a party and you are someone who always feels uh, your life is at risk 
or someone can poison you whilst you are there you are drinking with friends and other things what you can do is just take seven seeds of the alligator pepper put it in your pocket and then just go remember you are doing this because you don't think evil for them but someone among them is thinking evil for you and can go a long way to affect you so it could they could poison your drink you might not know they could poison food for you to eat you might not know they could do so many things that can uh, go against you physically and get rid of you from this uh, physical realm. So what you do is just get seven of the alligator pepper. If you fear for your life that you are going to be poisoned, you can do this if you fear at home that you can be poisoned or you can do this when you are going out or even if you are a leader of a team and you fear that your life is at risk to be poisoned, you can do this and to, uh, to turn the other way run now when the alligator pepper is with you okay it it has this energy a uh, magnetic energy field around you that gets rid of uh, things that tries to attach itself to you okay so like uh, having a north pole and north pole of magnets try to get them together you see how it is that is how it it makes you so anything that comes it it's it it, it, it flashes it away anything that comes it drives it away so it's it will help you and when you throw a ball to the wall you see it bounces back to you this is how it's going to happen so you are going to a party or just get seven put it in your pocket okay or put it in your wallet and then you go anybody who tries to poison you 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 don't know it will turn so you get to know that someone is dead out of poison maybe later on and when you hear that then you should know that that person tried to poison you and as a result of you having the alligator pepper that had been buried for 21 days it got rid of that it, it the table turned so maybe that food that you were supposed to eat and be poisoned automatically the poison that is in the food has been transferred to his or her food to eat so remember when you cast demons you need to make sure you are able to displace these demons from this fiscal realm other than that when you cast them you need to have a place to put them so whilst the alligator the spray that lies within the alligator pepper is helping get for you to get rid of the poison in your food it has to go back to wherever it's coming from so it's a form of back to sender doing a uh, food poison and if you use this it will go a long way to help you uh, because of tomorrow class i wouldn't take much uh, of your time because tomorrow between the hours of three to five i will be here to give you the normal telegram class which always comes away so in a nutshell this is what i have for you uh, when it comes to making peace with mother earth okay making peace with mother earth if you've not done this if you've not done this just get a pot of alligator pepper okay and then uh, bury it and it is normally done during uh, 3 p.m between 3 p.m to 4 p.m that is when you do this you can get it and then uh, bury it it will go a long way to help you it will go a long way to help you and your family so any form of bad energy that you have around you and your family you can get rid of them using the alligator pepper so um basically i hope you have uh, learned something today and it will go a long way to help you and your family and then the people around you as well okay the people around you as well uh this is where uh, we'll end today's lectures uh, i have uh, one comment here from uh, Rosemary Watson on YouTube. He said, "Please can you chew it in daily basis to protect yourself? You can chew it, in protecting yourself from ailments and other things. Okay, physically yes, but if you want to protect yourself, just uh, have a way of putting it in your, getting it closer to you. Okay, if you have it close to you, it protects you from so many things. Uh, when." We get to the part whereby you use a uh, bitter leaf, uh, pearl seed, and then the alligator uh, seeds for 
vanishing. When you talk about vanishing, most people think uh, it's not possible for you to vanish. Yes, you can't vanish, but there are f formulas you need to follow to be able to vanish. When we get there, you understand all this, okay? You understand the p when it comes to protection or s protecting yourself with the alligator pepper, what and what you need to add to protect you. But in, uh, if you are talking about protection, uh, you can put it on you and it will protect you. Okay, you can put it on you. So there are some who, who, who normally are in a class and they say, Oh, Rev, uh, I'm a chief. Oh, how about me? Just put it on you and go wherever you are going. Whatever that they do to you will pass back to them because of the energy field that surrounds you. Okay, whatever negative attraction that tries to get to you will bounce back to them so use it and it will go a long way to help you and as we are ending here i'm reminding you that healing hearts healing has heart uh in uk their numbers are on the screen healing hands heart in uk if you call them any product of uh, power life herbal center you can get it there uh, and it will go a long way to help you this oils that I put it from uh, the Middle East to they are here they, are, they have some in stock you can get it from them and for those of you who normally come around wants to see me during uh, lecturing days please uh, I need to relax a bit before I come on air to teach other than that I'm, I'll break down I'm human being okay so please uh, you can't come during uh, weekdays where lecturing is going on okay uh, it's only weekends that i can meet you and that one is sun, uh, saturday so those of you who want to meet me call the office line that you want to meet me and then uh, you'll be able to meet me on saturday please so uh coming saturday i'll be here if you want to meet me you can come and the oils some are here when you come one on one based on whatever you tell me i'll be able to tell you which one will be very good for you. If you are not in Ghana, just call uh, Helen Hans Hart in UK. Their numbers are on the screen. They will be able to uh, get one of these oils for you uh, at your advantage. Based on whatever you tell them, they are already activated. They, they come to Ghana, active, uh, I'm, I amplified the power that lies within it, and then I send them to Helen Hans Hart for them to. Uh, give it to those in the UK and Europe to sell as well, uh, to use as well. So uh, that wouldn't be a problem for you to come on the way to Ghana before you get it. For those of you who wants to meet me, come in Monday, call the clerk office line, make an arrangement with the uh, receptionist, and I will meet you here on Saturday so that we will have one on one interaction based on what you don't understand. I will be able to assist you. Whatever it being physical, ailment or spiritual, the Lord will bless us with wisdom to get rid of such uh, uh, predicaments. God willing, next week Tuesday, I will come away with another edition of the English version of uh, Click Telegram class. We end here today. See you next week. Bye bye. Spiritual drive show. She a minimum of a year power that power.